Hey. How you feeling? Better. At least the nightmares seem to have stopped. I'm glad you came by. I got caught up at the store, went home early. Started going through some of my dad's things. Sure you're ready for that? It's okay. It actually brought back some nice memories. And I found this. These were your father's? Yeah. I knew he served in Vietnam, but he, he never talked about it. Do you know what they're for? Yeah. They keep a registry on the internet. The Silver Stars for Exceptional Valor. He rescued three men in his unit during the firefight. He was wounded, but he wouldn't leave his men behind. Sounds like your dad. Wonder why I never told you. Maybe he just did. You know, you win a couple football games and people start calling you a hero. <laughs> it feels good, but maybe he's just trying to tell me that throwing a ball isn't the only way to do something important with your life. Glad to see I'm not the only one who's curious in Smallville. Hey, Lex. What are you doing here? I feel like I owe your father an apology, but I'm not exactly sure why. It's not you. It's everything. Money problems, the farm. I guess you just didn't understand what you were doing out in that field. I thought I made myself clear. You did. You don't believe me either. I know you get obsessed about things, like car accident. I find it hard to believe that you'd waste your time supervising a routine land survey, if that's what it was. My life changed when the meteors hit, and I need to know why. You can't let it go? This isn't some empty emotional quest, Clark. It's about finding the truth. The truth? I found a man. He said something besides the meteors came down that day. Like what? A ship. And you believe him? I listened. Chances are he's just another crackpot, but I'd be remiss if I didn't check it out. And when the next story crops up, you'll be sure to check that one out, too. Clark, when are you going to be able to put your past behind you? You look at the stars, Clark. Some of them have been extinguished for thousands of years. But their light is only reaching us now. The past is always influencing the present. I can't change that. All I can do is try to understand it. 